Because we have only explored such a small part of our oceans, we can't help but be fascinated by them and wonder what mysterious things they can hold. From incredible new species of animals to sunken treasures, we'll show you some truly amazing discoveries found deep in the ocean. We may have only explored 5% of our oceans, but we've found some fascinating things in even that small area. So grab your flippers, put on your goggles, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you dive in. Ancient Shark If you're a fan of the hub, you know that we tend to get pretty passionate about sharks. One of our favorite elusive species is the Greenland shark. Now, scientists have always known that these prehistoric looking sharks live for a very long time. But for so long, we had no idea exactly how long they survived. Julius Nielsen from the University of Copenhagen set out with a team to solve this mystery. They collected scientific data on 28 different female Greenland sharks. To figure out their ages, the team examined their eyes. The lens of a shark's eye is made up of protein that builds up gradually over its life. To figure out when the protein was laid down, they relied on radiocarbon dating. This method measures the amount of carbon-14 and tracks its radioactive decay over time. They used this in conjunction with information about how Greenland sharks grow and used this model to date the sharks. Not only was the oldest shark 392 years old, but scientists discovered that this species of shark doesn't even hit sexual maturity until they're 150 years old. Nielsen hopes that this study and further research will boost awareness of these incredible animals and also help with conservation efforts. Antithecara mechanism. When you think of things that you might expect to encounter while diving deep in the ocean, a computer generally isn't one of them. While you can't use it to update your Facebook or check your email, this device found in the Aegean Sea might be the world's oldest computer. Certainly, it's a remarkably complicated scientific instrument, considering that it's thought to be at least 2,000 years old. Because of the complexity and quality of this item, it's believed that it was created during the Hellenistic period, around the late 2nd century BC. It's known as the Antikythera mechanism and was found inside a Roman shipwreck. This mechanism is comprised of 37 different bronze gears and housed in a wooden frame with 2,000 different characters on it. Scientists use X-ray tomography and high-resolution surface scanning to read the inscriptions. It sounds kind of like the alethiometer from the Golden Compass. And actually, that's not a bad comparison because it's believed that this device was used to make predictions about astronomical positions and eclipses. We're unsure exactly how it ended up in the sea, but it's thought that perhaps it was part of some stolen loot or was intended as a gift when the ship carrying it sank. Palvo Petri. Cities on land can be absolutely fascinating, but there is something so eerie yet beautiful about cities that have sunk beneath the waves. In southern Greece, there is an ancient city dating back over 5,000 years. Of course, if you want to explore it, you'll have to grab your snorkel because it's located four meters underwater. Unlike some underwater ruins, the city known as Pavlo Petri is in remarkably good shape. You can even make out where the roads were and swim over gardens, temples, a cemetery, and even a complex water management system using pipes. Some of the buildings are quite large, with some containing up to 12 different rooms. The entire site takes up about nine acres, and scientists believe that it may have ended up underwater due to earthquakes. Because the ruins are in such good condition, archaeologists were able to recreate what they would have looked like if they were above water using 3D models. It's thought that this town was once a thriving part of the textile industry, as well as a major trading port. These conclusions were drawn from the many loom weights and pottery jars excavated from the site. Bees. While they may not look like the bumblebees you're used to seeing flying around on land, they perform a very similar and essential function underwater. There is no shortage of ecosystems underwater, and we know that seagrasses shed pollen in order to reproduce. For a long time, we assumed that ocean currents alone moved this pollen from male flowers to female flowers. However, scientists observing a common type of underwater plant known as turtle grass realized that many invertebrates comprised mostly of small crustaceans were actually pollinating the seagrass. They conducted an experiment by setting up two tanks of the grass, one with crustaceans and one without. The grass in the crustacean tank began to bloom and produce pollen, while the grass on the other tank did not. The crustaceans are attracted to the tasty pollen produced by male flowers, and when they snack on it, they inadvertently end up spreading it to the female flowers. This amazing discovery adds another layer of complexity to underwater ecosystems as we know them. Further research is needed to determine if other aquatic plants function in a similar way to the turtle grass. 
This is especially important due to the fact that seagrass all over the world is undergoing a dramatic decline. Giant Sea Sponge As far as ocean creatures go, sea sponges aren't terribly exciting. We get it. However, we'll make an exception for this absolutely enormous one found in the waters near Hawaii and Midway Atoll. Sea sponges are marine animals that serve a very important purpose. They filter seawater and help oxygenate the ocean. This creature is the size of a minivan and is the largest sea sponge on record, measuring 12 feet wide and 7 feet long. The marine conservation area in which it was found is largely unexplored, and the deeply underwater sponge was discovered by using a remote-operated submarine. The sub was deployed from the ship Oceanus Explorer, funded by the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. To tell just how large this sponge is, scientists projected laser beams into the sponge in order to capture high-definition images. These images were analyzed with a software program that was able to approximate the size of the sponge. Sponges living in shallow water are known to live for over 2,300 years, meaning that this enormous sponge could be just as old or even older. Its size, coupled with its important task, means that this sponge is likely a hugely important part of the local ecosystem and has been for quite some time. Mirror Bellies Deep in the darkest parts of the ocean, live many incredible creatures that we have only now just begun to discover. Sunlight barely makes it down into what is known as the twilight zone of the ocean, 200 to 1,000 meters below the surface. Because of this, many creatures, such as the anglerfish, produce their own light sources. In 2016, scientists discovered two types of a different species of bioluminescent fish called mirror bellies. Bacteria grows in their intestinal tract, meaning that their stomachs actually seem to glow. Their stomachs also have an organ called a soul, and they use this to control the light. When the soul contracts, the light is hidden, and when it expands, light shines through transparent parts of their scales. Being able to control the light that they emit is important, because otherwise they would be constantly standing out like a sore thumb in their dark environment. Strangely enough, these fish have eyes that point upwards, while their light is emitted from their undersides. Lost Continent we know it sounds pretty inconceivable that we could manage to lose track of an entire continent, but it seems that a continent did indeed go missing. Not to worry though, because it's been found in the Indian Ocean, located underneath the small island of Mauritius. This island may only be 790 square miles, but it captured the attention of scientists because of its unusually strong gravitational pull. We tend to think of gravity as being pretty uniform, but it can actually be slightly stronger or weaker depending on the density of the material in the Earth's crust. Mauritius is 8 million years old, which is pretty young on a geological scale. However, 2 billion year old samples of zircon have been collected on its beaches. The zircon could not have formed when the island did, and scientists believe that it is the result of undersea volcanoes erupting and sending bits of the lost continent onto the shore. It's believed that there was once a supercontinent, known as Gondwanaland which broke apart 200 million years ago, forming Africa, South America, Antarctica, Indian, and Australia. It's believed that there are still some continental fragments out there just waiting to be discovered. Mystery Object Although there are many things about the ocean that we don't yet understand, this one really had us scratching our heads. Diver Sean Smirmerchinsky was swimming about 50 miles off the coast of British Columbia when he made a startling discovery lying in a seabed. Now, when most people claim to see UFOs, it's easy to roll your eyes and explain it away as some sort of natural phenomenon. But in this case, we can kind of see why he believed he'd stumbled upon one at first. As news of the mysterious 12-foot across object spread, people began hypothesizing what it could possibly be. The most popular theory was the idea that this was a nuclear bomb lost in the 1950s by the U.S. Air Force. An American B-36 bomb did crash while traveling from Alaska to Texas in 1950, and the cargo it was carrying was never revealed. However, the Canadian Royal Navy was able to send a remotely operated vehicle in order to investigate the object and confirm that it's definitely not a bomb. So what is it? We don't know. The best explanation we have is that the Navy believes it to be a piece of industrial equipment, but not everyone is convinced. Hydrothermal Habitat Hydrothermal vents are formed by mineral-rich magma coming up from inside the Earth and making contact with cold ocean water. As the magma cools, chimney-like structures are formed, rich in sulfide minerals. Although we might not find them hospitable, they're an important part of the ocean ecosystem and are used by microbes who oxidize the chemicals emerging from the vents. These microbes are consumed by crabs, clams, and other species. About 2,000 kilometers southeast from Madagascar, is a hydrothermal vent known as Longquai, 
which translates to dragon's breath. It towers two stories above the ocean floor. Scientists from the University of Southampton, Newcastle University, and the London Natural History Museum used a remotely operated vehicle to examine the area, and in doing so, identified six new species. There are two types of sea snails, a limpet, a scale worm, a deep sea worm, and a second species of the hairy-chested hoff crab. Some known species found on Long Kwai are also found in other oceans, suggesting that vent-dwelling creatures are far more widespread than we had once thought. Jellyfish. Okay, so when you look at this picture of this recently discovered jellyfish, you might swear it's totally photoshopped. It does kind of look more like an alien spacecraft than a jellyfish, but we promise it's real. It was discovered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration using a remotely operated vehicle. They spotted this jellyfish near the Mariana Trench. The remotely operated vehicle was being used to investigate the area, searching for any new hydrothermal vents, deep sea coral, mud volcanoes, or other things. It looks almost as if the reds and yellows of its body are glowing. It's hypothesized that the red canals connecting the bright yellow objects, which may be gonads. It has two sets of tentacles extending from its bell. Scientists observe that when the long tentacles are extended, the bell remains still. This feature suggests that this particular jellyfish may be an ambush predator. It's believed that this jellyfish belongs to the Crossata genus based on its appearance. Crossata jellyfish don't have a sessile polyp stage like many other jellies. Creatures in a sessile state can't move through self-locomotion and are normally immobile. But these jellyfish spend their entire lives moving through the sea. Here at The Hub, we love exploring all of the weird and wonderful things on our planet. From ancient man-made devices to mystery objects and creatures, it seems there is no shortage of curious things just waiting to be discovered. Before you swim off, be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Bye for now.